Good day, learners. Learning about angles and geometric shapes is useful in case, especially when we pave our future in fields such as engineering and architecture. This module was designed to help the grade 4 learners gain knowledge in describing and illustrating different kinds of angles and describing the attributes or properties of triangles and quadrilaterals using concrete objects or models. The activities are arranged to follow the standard sequence of the lesson. When you are done with this module, you will be able to illustrate and describe different kinds of angles using real-life models. Answer the following questions. Write the letter of the correct answer on a sheet of paper. Number 1. Which angle measures 90 degrees and forms a square corner? A. Acute angle B. Obtuse angle C. Right angle D. Straight angle Number 2. Which angle measures less than 90 degrees and is smaller than a right angle? A. Acute angle B. Obtuse angle C. Right angle D. Straight angle Number 3. Which angle measures more than 90 degrees? Is it A. Acute angle B. Obtuse angle C. Right angle D. Straight angle Number 4. Which of the following is a measure of an obtuse angle? A. 70 degrees B. 90 degrees C. 120 degrees D. 180 degrees Number 5. What geometric figure is formed when two rays meet at a common endpoint? A. Angle B. Line C. Point D. Ray Determine whether its figure is a triangle or a quadrilateral. Write the correct answer on a sheet of paper. Number 1 Number 2 Number 3 Number 4 And number 5 This is Lesson 1 of Module 2, Describing and Illustrating Different Kinds of Angles, Right, Acute, and Obtuse Using Model. How much do you remember about geometric ideas? This module will enhance your knowledge in geometry as you are going to study about angles. Angles are important to define and study the polygons. These are different types of angles based on their measurement. In this module, you will learn more about describing and illustrating different kinds of angles, right, acute, and obtuse, using model. In the previous module, you have learned how to identify parallel, intersecting, and perpendicular lines. Determine whether the following illustrate intersecting, parallel, or perpendicular. Write the correct answer on a sheet of paper. Number 1. The letter X. Number 2. Corners of the door. Number 3. The capital letter L. 
Number 4, the hands of the clock at 3 o'clock. Number 5, lines found in a grade 4 pad paper. Study the hands of the clocks. Answer the following questions mentally. How many hands of each clock does it have? What geometric figure does each hand represent? Study the angle. What figure is shown in the illustration? How many rays does it have? Look at BA and BC above. They have the same end point. The figure form is called an angle. An angle is formed by two rays with a common end point and do not form a line. The rays are called the sides of the angle. Ray BA meets with Ray BC at point B. The common end point is called the vertex. So point B is the vertex. How do you name angles? There are three ways to name angles. is read as angle A, B, C. CBA is read as angle C, B, A. B is read as angle B or one is read as Angle 1 Degrees is a unit of measurement angles 1,360th of the circumference of a circle The degree symbol or degree sign Is a typographical symbol that is used among other things to represent degrees of an arc. To measure angles, we use the unit called degrees. The first figure that is acute angle. Acute angle is less than 90 degrees. The second figure that is right angle. And right angle equal to 90 degrees. The third figure is an obtuse angle. An obtuse angle is greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. As the measure of an angle increases, the name changes. Angles are the figure formed by two rays called the sides of an angle, sharing a common end point called the vertex of an angle. Angles are measured in degrees using a protractor. Angles can be classified according to their measurements. An acute angle measures less than 90 degrees. It is smaller than a right angle. A right angle measures 90 degrees. It forms a square corner. An obtuse angle measures more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. Activity 1 Classify its angle. Write the correct answer on a sheet of paper. 
Number one, that is acute angle. Number two, that is an obtuse angle. Then try to answer number three, four, and number five. Time starts now. Activity 2. Draw the following angles. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. Acute angle MAR. This is an example of acute angle angle MAR. Then try to answer this obtuse angle angle YES. Right angle, angle GAR. Activity 3. Identify the kind of angle represented by each of the following figure. Write the correct answer on a sheet of paper. Number 1, that figure is a right angle. Number 2, the figure is an acute angle. Try to answer number 3, 4, and number 5. And I'll give you time and time starts now. Use the data inside the box to complete the statement. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. Acute angle, degrees, right angle, vertex, angle, obtuse angle, straight angle. When two rays meet a common end point, the geometric figure called angle is formed. The common end point is called the vertex angles are measured in degrees and can be classified according to their measurements. An angle which measures 90 degrees and forms a square corner is called the blank. If it measures the 90 degrees and is smaller than right angle, it is called the blank. If it measures more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees, it is called blank. Using the figure at the right, identify if the given angle is acute, right, or obtuse. Write the correct answer on a sheet of paper. Number 1. Angle AGE. Angle AGE is a right angle. Number 2. Angle DGF. Angle DGF is an obtuse angle. Number 3. Angle FGB. Angle FGB is also an obtuse angle. Then try to answer number 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And time starts now. Illustrate and describe the following angles on a sheet of paper. Number 1, acute angle. Number 2, obtuse angle. And number 3, right angle using these rubrics for scoring. For your assessment, Write the letter of the correct answer on a sheet of paper. 
Number 1. Which of the angles below measures more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees? Number 2. Which of the following tells about obtuse angle? A. It measures exactly 90 degrees. B. It measures less than 90 degrees. C. It measures exactly 180 degrees. D. It measures more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. Number 3. Which could be the measurement of an acute angle? A. 35 degrees B. 90 degrees C. 180 degrees D. 360 degrees Number 4. What kind of angle is formed by the corner of a square table? A. Acute angle B. Obtuse angle C. Right angle D. Straight angle Number 5. What kind of angle is shown by an open book whose measure is greater than 90 degrees? A. Acute angle B. Obtuse angle C. Right angle D. Straight angle For your additional activities, draw your dream house using different angles. Label the angles used. Be creative in doing your output. Prepare your output on a sheet of paper. And here's the rubrics. Marami salamat sa inyong pananood. Hanggang sa susunod, hanggang sa muli. Paalam! Huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe, like, Comment and share.